Baz, one of the most uh, entertaining Quakers you're ever going to meet, I guess, as well as see play. He is both. A long history, played against all the greats, and he is one of them himself. What a play from Baz. No armor on his name. A rocket jump up in front of an opponent with an LG. Rocket to Railgun. Great play. And look at this. What a move. What a move from Faz. He delayed it. Sturmy knew it. But Faz knew it better. He had the exact time and rocket jumps off the wall. And what a creative player. You know, just these moves he pulls out. He really looks like we're seeing Faz in his prime. More so than we've ever seen him in quite wide before. Faz finds quite a bit of damage, missing the rail, but oh, good great job rocket. just in position with the racket jump. That was very, very good. Yeah, because you actually put you're very entertaining as well. Yesterday, we, I probably would have given you MVP, even if you didn't go through, um, just because of how you know how many great moments you uh, did. So when you play Quake, do you get an excitement from being creative, or do you be creative just because you know you've got cool glasses on, crazy hair, and you know it's like your personality come out in the game? I think it's my personality, but I don't think that's the reason why I play like that. I think the main reason is because I've played for 12 years, and to play any other way, it wouldn't be any point to keep on playing for me. You'll be bored. You'd bore yourself. For myself, definitely. That's why I can't pass back. I feel bad for the audience. So right now, Faz has done it perfectly. And Sturmy is going to be worried. Like, I don't even know if he's going to be able to challenge. He's going to come through. Oh, Faz gets a rocket, knocking Sturmy off the wall mid-air as he jumps for the mega and picks up the kill. And Faz, he is in the zone. Can't even think that that's a plan. It's just something you have to do.
Oh, okay. I think I got a couple of great rockets. You know, he's... Oh, one to the face. And still he's down to 16 point of health and one person down will finish him off. Maintain control over this map, this member bin. Uh, just about five, uh, six minutes expired here on the game clock. Actually, a nice little bit of damage there from Fez. Once again, Moo getting caught out of position. However, Fez uh, gets rocketed across the map and accidentally kills himself. Oh, uh, perfectly when he's rocketed there. He's going to deny that red armor pickup and equalize the frag. Specifically, do you try to do if you play against a certain player? It doesn't sound like you're a guy who necessarily watches a lot of demos or anything. So, how do you figure out a person's tendencies? You have to have played them a lot to get a sense of who they are. I think if you look at my demos from back in the day, or from Quake Live especially, you will see that I surprise people way more than the average player. I start shooting at people when they're looking the wrong way, and that doesn't happen often when the other players play each other. Like, I always try to surprise them to have a surprise element to it. Sometimes it made me look like an absolute fool because I attacked from a stupid angle and I know that but like that I got a kick from doing that to outthink someone and surprise them when they think they're safe then I come and fuck them up. Oh, it's 
is gonna follow him through. But look at the rockets again from Faz. Absolutely oh. spot on. And then the rail as he goes down. Another amazing moment from Faz. And this game, I tell you what, is just been more full of highlights than the entire tournament as a whole, I think. Well, yeah, certainly Faz is definitely delivering over the uh, maps that we see here. Okay, two minutes left. Four Seven. frags now. Uh, that's, I mean, I would call it GG by now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would. I, want, I, don't, I don't know. Really Look, better. I mean, it's even more GG by now. Oh. Oh. If Faz is to bring this back, <laughs> how is he going to do it? Yeah, we're going to find out. <laughs> A minute and a half left. Here comes some rockets. There's one, there's two. There's, there's the next one. Oh, oh. oh, wow! wow. And that, rocket, that last rocket did like 80 damage, and then Sonic's yeah. like, what? And then the machine gun. That's all he needed. There's still four frags, though, in a, in a minute. Oh, wow. oh, wow. oh he pushed him off! <laughs> that never happened before. <laughs> How do you push someone off with a rail? Yeah, from that angle, you yeah. push them sideways. <laughs> I'm just waiting to see amazing shots now. 40 seconds versus Cypher. Nobody can see. Nobody says oh, oh my god. Wow. How does Faz do it? There is one. Come on. 25 seconds, three fragments. Oh, oh my god. What a beast. He's loving it. He's, he's like, I don't even want to play anymore. I'm just going to oh, laugh. And a double back. Does this a lot against Cypher. It works always versus Cypher. Faz is so good at reading Cypher. He knows how he thinks. 20 seconds remaining. He hears Cypher. Wait, is he going to wait for Cypher to double back again? Okay. This is it. By walking here, you're committing that your read is correct. Pretty much. And actually, in the last second, he's like, uh-oh. Cypher's not there. Where is I have no time. Where is oh, Cypher? Oh, oh, he's going to jump at it. Oh, 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 goes down. And that is a tight game in overtime, and time is like, what? <laughs> Frag right there for Faz. Faz has got to feel very nice about that one. Fight. It's going to be Faz taking away really Railgun Hunter and setting up his perch and making good use of it so far. The unmiss at this point. Supposed to be relevant, but man, he's still not letting anybody by without at least taking one slug.
We came second place, motherfucker!